Greetings everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, this is a Linux tutorial for OpenSUSE folks. Um, I was having some trouble with audio, being able to get audio into my headset. I've got a Plantronics uh, USB headset microphone combo and I couldn't get the volume to come out the headset nor could I get the microphone input to go into my recording software. And so um, I did a lot of research, looked at a bunch of threads and what everybody was telling me was, you need to disable the pulse audio volume control, PAVU control. Um, well, that didn't work because it's not even installed on my laptop. I'm using uh, OpenSUSE 13.1, PAVU control was not even in there. So, what I had to do was I had to go into my install remove software, uh, right over here under computer, install remove software, and it's going to take a second for this to open up because it's got to load a bunch of uh, different repositories and stuff. So once this thing gets loaded up, I'll show you what I, how I looked it up. Um, I started thinking, well, okay, if Pulse Audio Volume Control is not even installed, maybe that's why I'm having so much trouble. So type, go in, type P-A-V-U-C-O-N-T-R-O-L, and hit Search. And we get this pulse audio volume control and the language package that goes with it. Now it'll be in a list of a whole bunch of other stuff, but uh, you click on that, you hit accept, it'll go ahead and do the install. And then once it's all done, you come over here and you look in your, you use your search bar and you P A V U control right there. And so that's going to bring up this little control panel. And inside of this control panel, you got several tabs. You got playback, recording, output devices, input devices, and configuration. Well, the first thing I did was uh, was went to my output devices, and I had two different things listed there. I had my standard onboard speakers and my USB headset. But no matter what I did, I couldn't get my USB headset to be the default for my volume. And so I started looking around, I, started, I saw this configuration tab. So I went to configuration, and it shows built-in audio, and it showed it as being on. And, or actually, does it show on or, whoops? Yeah, it shows all of those options. Um, I think it was set for analog stereo duplex, um, which is fine. But then it also showed my headset. I was like, well, now wait a minute. What if I just turned this off? So that's what I did. And the second I turned it off, I started getting full volume through my headset. My microphone worked. I uh, was able to go over here to output devices and adjust my levels here, go to my input device and set my levels here, and everything just started working wonderfully. Um, so that's how I ended up fixing my problem with the USB headset. Uh, may not be what your issue what your issue might be but it could be um, and then it, like I said everything started working I use simple screen recorder for my recording software it started working great uh, playback devices of course you know music players video players YouTube uh, video games all of that stuff started coming to my headset and life was great so um, that's a quick easy way to get your audio going to a USB headset or even to get a USB microphone uh, into your computer. You can do that through this also. So I hope you've enjoyed. I know this is a real quick short tutorial, um, but uh, have a look at it. Go into the install software and look up Pulse Audio Volume Control. It's a real clean interface, very simple to use. I was very impressed with how simple this was. Um, and if you've liked this video, Make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can find me here on YouTube under the Right Wing RB. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. Um, I'm looking at some other social media options, but I haven't gone into those routes yet. But Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr under Right Wing RB, and uh, subscribe there. That'll be where that'll be another place where I'll let you know where all of my videos are coming out and what's new coming up and and in store for all of you great folks out there. So again, hope you've enjoyed. And until next time, either the next tutorial or the next Minecraft video, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.